I'm Jim Schantz with Sennheiser Electronic Corporation, and I'm going to talk to you about our E900 series instrument microphones. For those of you familiar with our 600 series, uh, these are going to be a step above. Uh, in broad strokes, these are all going to be manufactured with even tighter tolerances than our 600 series evolution product. Uh, we're looking for a goal of no more than two decibel difference between the same microphones off the line. Uh, in addition, they all have a very unique look to them. A nice hardened metal black body with a kind of iridescent blue grill. We've switched to gold-plated XLR connectors, so they resist oxidation. Um, and typically of the same microphone, for example, uh, the E904 versus the 604, this is going to give you a little bit better gain before feedback a little bit better frequency response and more importantly it's going to cut through the mix like unlike the 604 which does a great job but doesn't quite cut through the mix. These have all been designed with professionals, um, touring professionals in mind. They have helped, they've helped us to really design these. So I want to go over the, the drum microphones first. For kick drum applications we have an E902 integrated stand mount, again gold plated connectors we have a capsule that's based on the MD421. It's not the same, but very similar. And we do have shock mounting internal. The 602, the predecessor, had um, more accentuated low frequency response. Uh, sound engineers came to us and say, that's, that's really nice, but it's a bit much. And uh, when we're competing with um, bass guitar and kick drum, it's, it's a little bit tough. So we took some of that out and put a little more accentuation in the higher frequencies for the slap of the kick drum. It's a better all around sounding microphone and again fits better with the mix. That's the 902. The 901 is a brand new microphone for us. It's a boundary style microphone. Its application, primary application, is going to be to place into a kick drum or right in front of a kick drum. You have great weight on this. You have an internal preamplifier, so it's just an XLR connector. Some of the competitors have an external preamp, so you have a specialty cable to an external preamp, then to an XLR. Here we have it integrated, so you don't have to worry about that. It is a half cardioid pickup pattern, meaning when it's flat like this, it's going to pick up kind of a hemisphere. This is designed, again, primarily for kick drum. Put it in the kick drum, right in front of the kick drum. You're going to get great attack. Um, from, from this microphone without having to do much EQ. Uh, it's a great combination with the 901 and the 902. 902 is going to give you a little more of the body. This is going to give you a little more of the slap of the kick drum. The E904 is our Tom microphone. Uh, based on the design of our very popular E604, this one's a little bit different. It's still cardioid, but we've changed to a metal body. The 604 was plastic. Uh, again, gold-plated connectors. You, you may or may not notice that they're kind of on an angle, and they're on an angle, so if you were to use a right angle XLR cable, it's not going to interfere with the stand, um, with the mounting. This mount goes right onto the lip of a drum, and then you can control it up or down a little bit. Uh, you can uh, turn it a little bit with this as well. So very flexible, very small and obtrusive. Um, it's going to give you some pretty good body for Tom microphones and good attack. Next for toms, we have our E908D, which is a condenser. This, this too is a cardioid microphone. Uh, you can see it's the style of a gooseneck condenser microphone. This is a very solid gooseneck. It's not going to get worn over time and start falling on you. You have a very nice mount here for, for the drum. Clips right onto the edge of the drum. This piece moves up and down like this and sideways like this and you can move the microphone up and down like that. You have a lot of options. In addition, you have another space here for a, a total, for a separate gooseneck microphone. So you could put two side by side on one rim, making two drums or perhaps percussion. In addition, this microphone element is also available uh, as a horn configuration with a, a clip to go on a bell and then into Sennheiser wireless product. Um, it's able to withstand very high SPL and also to take a beating. You've got this little kind of uh, shock mount system here, so when you hit it, it's not going to affect 
the rest of the gooseneck. This is going to take the impact. So that's the E908. Lastly for drums, no not lastly, almost lastly, the E914 which is a condenser microphone. This is great for overheads, for hi-hats, for pianos, for acoustic guitars. Uh, it's a probe style condenser microphone. It's cardioid pickup pattern. You have uh, three different sensitivity switches and also uh, three different roll-off switches. It's very flexible. Uh, has great sound. It is very durable. Again, primary application is drum overheads, acoustic guitars, pianos, anywhere where you'd use a probe style condenser microphone. The E905 primary application is for snare drum, uh, possibly tom microphones. It's a short style bodied microphone with an integrated stand mount. Uh, this will help you to really get into tight spots so you're not using a longer microphone. It's tight spots, sounds great. Uh, again, you're going to get a great game before feedback and a full, full sound for your drums. These can withstand up to, I believe, 160, 165 dB SPL. Um, next, we have the E906, which is based on the old, older E609 Silver, which is based on the E609 Black, which is based on the MD409. It's a long lineage, but it's a very impressive microphone. This microphone actually takes the frequency response of the E609 Silver and the E609 Black. You have that option to, to push it up. You've got the 609 Silver sound. Push it down. You've got the 609 Black sound, which is flatter. Silver is going to give you more of a mid-high frequency boost to really cut through the mix. And then there's one more step, which is an intermediate step, kind of a cross between the two sounds. So depending on your guitar cabinet, depending on your guitar, depending on the sound you're looking for, um, this has great flexibility with that. This is labeled front because this is where the microphone is, it's side address. Just like the 609 Silver, the idea is to hang it on a cable and put it right in front of the, the cabinet for a quick, easy um, miking of a guitar cabinet as opposed to putting an SM58 on a cable and hanging that down to where you're actually miking the floor and not the cabinet. As with the rest of the Evolution hardwired microphones, these all carry a 10-year warranty. Very important. 10 years. And that is the 900 series instrument microphones in a nutshell. We also have 900 series microphones in handheld configuration, the E935, which is a cardioid handheld microphone, and the E945, which is a super cardioid handheld microphone. Both of those microphones got great use at a uh, recent Live 8, Live 8 concert, um, the E935 in particular. Great, great game before feedback and cuts through the mix. Very little EQ needed. Again, 10-year warranty, Evolution Hardwire Microphones. Thank you.